Hello, my name is Danny DeLillo and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. We're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with Michelle Antoinette Bowley with her movie, Madeline Makes a Man. Let's take a look at a clip. Michelle, it's a delight to have you here. Congratulations on your film. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to meet you and be here. Oh, you're very welcome. And, and tell us a, a brief synopsis of your film. Um, Madeline Makes a Man is a film about a girl who can't find the right man. So she decides to Frankenstein together <laughs> a boyfriend from her ex-boyfriends. And, um, and it's, it's about how that works out. If you really had the perfect man, <laughs> what would yeah. you do? And, would it turn out well? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of laughing because I remember seeing it and there's so many like amazing moments in the film. Like it's just, it's a great story, um, which yeah, it's a great story, but also just the, so funny how she just sort of builds this whole thing together. Like it's just so dark, but it's just brilliant. Um, how do you come about the experience of writing this film? Oh man, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, we were talking about dating and the mm -hmm. process of dating and kind of how brutal, like if you think about shows like Seinfeld, yeah. like how much we pick apart right. the people that we date and you always find something wrong. Literally picking apart in this case, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we just made it literal. So we went through that process and we're like, you know, what happens? What happens if you find the perfect man? Well, in this instance, we decided he might be too good for her. Yeah. So that was... It's just, I mean, it, it's just got so many you know, great uh, ensemble cast of, of the boyfriends as well, but you had a fantastic lead actress. How did you find her? Oh, Kara, she is amazing. She was in Wilmington when we were there. She's out in LA now. Wow. Doing lots of fun projects. Wow. But, yeah. she, was re she really carried this incredible story. You guys have to see a story. It might make you think about how you're going to date in the future as well, <laughs> aside from that. Um, now, you wrote, you directed, and you produced as well. Yeah. So you're a triple threat, which is which is amazing. Um, how was that experience for you? Oh man, um, I'm really looking forward to having a producer the yeah. next time that's not me. Please get um, our producer, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, someone yeah. produce for us. <laughs> um, but no, it, it was great. And that was like our first big project out of film school. So I think, you know, we, we knew we wanted to make it and I'd written the script and we found the house and mm. it was this perfect house. Yeah. We found out the people were moving into it in a week. Oh, wow. So we basically had this filmmaking. one weekend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get into this house, it had no air conditioning. Oh, no. Oh, my. And it's the south in the summer. Yeah. So it was a sweaty, cozy bundle of fun. Because <laughs> you filmed in North Carolina. Yeah, we filmed in North Carolina. Wow. So. And it, I mean, it's such a large cast. It's a really big ensemble cast. So it was yeah. just coordinating all these schedules. So many people donated so much time and they were just amazing, amazing actors. Well, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful product that you made and, and also it, your boyfriend actually helped you in quite a significant way as well. What was his role? Yeah, my, my boyfriend and my partner, my business partner with our company, Rogue Kite, is Taylor Gill. He is amazingly talented. Um, he's a cinematographer and editor and we co-produced this project. And then he also helped build all the sets. I, I designed the sets and we built them together. So it was like this really intensive, intensive process. And he is very talented because it's the, the cinematography and the, and the color schemes and, and everything just looks so poignant. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's really beautiful and really, you know, highlights the kind of style of the film that you're seeing. Because obviously it's like a, it's got a very dark kind of like feel to it, obviously it has to, to go in that direction. Um, you know, but it, it's, it's been wonderfully portrayed. What was kind of your biggest challenge making this film? Oh man, probably a lot of the effects work because we really did create all these giant scars and cuts. And I mean, it's a very, when we made it, we saw it as this like artistic metaphor. And then when you get into it and you realize like, just this is a lot of blood. Like it is, yeah. a, it is a, it is a bloody film. Um, <laughs> a and, bloody film. <laughs> and, uh, it was, you know, figuring out that process of going through and basically blending the bodies of these five actors together. Mm, yeah. It was crazy. Oh my goodness. I mean, obviously it wasn't method acting. They're all okay, aren't they? Yeah. All the, all the actors are okay. They're still living, not in hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. We'll say that. Yeah. We'll say that. All right. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, no, it's great. So, so like, obviously, you go through this whole process of, of, of making this film. What is it like after all the hard work, particularly when you put such a heartfelt into it by playing and taking on all these roles? What's it like to be, like, officially selected for, like, New Filmmakers LA? Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting. And it's so exciting to think about just the process of being able to show it to people. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime you get to watch your film and hear the audience react, you know, that's who you're making it for. Yeah. So it's incredible to be there and have that experience with them. I just love sitting in the back of the room and... Just watching the movie being played on the yeah. big screen. <laughs> yeah. How it should be. Um, now, you're from California, so you kind of, you know, you're not too far away from the you know, a film capital of the, of the country. So how has is that kind of had a great influence on you kind of deciding to go into film? Um, you know, I had certainly was an influence on watching film throughout my childhood. And then I kind of, I moved with my family across the country to Washington DC and mm -hmm. then was kind of all over the place throughout my life and am so happy to be back where my grandparents and my whole family are still here. Oh, that's and nice. Making films, because that was such a big part of my childhood. And you're, you're based out here in, in LA now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was your first film after, after school? Yes. I mean, it's amazing. Like, it looks like a really big budget film, and it's just so, it's just so beautifully executed. So obviously, you know, if she's got a budget, my goodness, I mean, she can, if you can do this on an independent film budget, then that's, that's pretty amazing. Yes, that's yeah, absolutely. Phenomenal. If anyone gives us money, we do amazing things. Yeah. So <laughs> give us please money. Do. Give us money, yeah. please, we want to. We're invited to your projects. Um, <laughs> uh, no, it's wonderful, Michelle. And so you and your, you and your partner, is it, well, sorry, you and your boyfriend, your business partner, you work together. Mm -hmm. um, what's the name of your company? Rogue Kite Productions. Lovely. Yeah. And so what, what's your plans for the future with your production company? What you, what's next for you? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of um, we've been doing a lot of sketch content lately. All all comedy, some stuff for the Young Turks network and Oh, then, I love the Young Turks. Oh, aren't they great? Yeah, they're brilliant. I oh. watched them last night. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. They did we did um, a sketch called Please Don't Vote for Them. We got like eight million views. Wow. So we're like still collaborating with them. Working on a feature, working on a pilot. So. Fantastic. And you kind of stick into the sort of same genre? Yeah, dark comedy. Dark comedy. Oh, That's I, love, the thing. I, love, I love dark comedy. It's great. Yeah. That's really, really good. Well, you're very talented and you've got a great team and you, it's a wonderful film. So congratulations on your film. Thank you so much. And uh, everyone's just going to love it when they see it. Thank you. Madeline makes a man. And please don't... I mean, I often say this, but don't try this at home, what you're going to see, okay? Because just please don't, all right? Unless you want to end up in jail. Um, anyways, better do that. Anyways, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take it's care. A pleasure.